You start off with your different materials and your glue. Or you can sew and sew and sew and you're not finished. You want to create something greater than you created the year before. That's what motivates you. There is a thread that runs through everything New Orleans. It connects us to each other and to our traditions, to our families and our community. It joins us in times of joy. It lifts us up in times of need. Today, you can feel this thread everywhere, educating, rebuilding, moving us on, reinventing and defining the new American city. 738 this evening, we are continuing to track Hurricane Katrina. The story of New Orleans' recovery is one of the most improbable ever told. Everyone hoped the city could pull this off, but no one knew for sure. Yet the residents and businesses that came back poured everything they had into the effort. And it started to become clear, this might just work after all. When the international press interviewed me at Ground Zero, they said, how can you stand here and say a city that's 80% underwater will recover? And I said, because the spirit of the city is not underwater and that we will recover because the people will lead the recovery. And that's exactly what has happened. Seven years after Katrina, there are $13 billion in construction projects being completed in New Orleans, restoring the thread of community and hope. New Orleans is creating itself anew, and people and businesses are taking notice. But what is it that brought New Orleans from this to this? There's a huge amount of private investment that's coming into town. GE did a spectacular thing for us by saying that one of the largest corporations in the world was going to bring 300 high-tech jobs to the city of New Orleans. It sent a message to the business community all over the world that New Orleans is really ready. I think it was critical to reopen the Hyatt. It, it sent the message to the city and the hospitality industry and, and the country that New Orleans was fully back. Post-Katrina, we have seen an influx of entrepreneurial talent. The business community, government, universities are collaborating to directly support, identify, and retain entrepreneurs. New Orleans has flavor for days. Whether it's the um, creativity that you see walking down the street and the personalities and the culture and the music and the food, that translates into creativity and business. Underlying that transformation is a public investment in a quality of life on every front. The private sector, not-for-profits, and you have the faith-based organizations all at the table. Any major project that you see in the city has those elements in it. Billions of dollars for hurricane protection, including some of the largest projects the Army Corps of Engineers has ever undertaken. The projects that we have built here uh, in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, this is the best system that the Grand New Orleans area has ever seen in terms of reducing risk uh, from a hurricane. We're happy to say that this system also includes the largest drainage pump station in the world. When we turn on all the pumps, can fill up an Olympic-sized swimming pool in about three seconds. Billions to help residents return home and rebuild, to mend the ravaged coastline, and to spin new threads like an ecologically sound streetcar network and a biomedical corridor that will serve an entire region. At the same time, there's been a massive investment in all aspects of quality of life, resulting in an extensive braid of community centers, libraries, roads, parks, and playgrounds. The kids are what keeps me coming back year in, day after day, week after week. It's all about the kids here. And NORD, by them opening more facilities and upgrading the facility, you get more participation. Nowhere is the connection to New Orleans' future more visible and more critical than in the city's public schools. The best way out of poverty, uh, the best pathway to prosperity is through the schoolhouse door. If you stay focused on that and we produce a system that produces smart kids, then the rest of it's going to take care of itself. For the first six, seven years, the goal was to close that gap on state LEAP test scores. And we've closed that gap. We now refuse to be satisfied with the status quo. 
For any city to recover from a major disaster like Katrina would have been a massive undertaking. But New Orleans isn't just any city. Core to the recovery here has been the preservation of that most precious thread, the city's unique culture, so intertwined with the city's way of life. All of a sudden, you see a kind of a new energy on the streets of the city. And if you move around the city today, it's an amazing sight to see the people out there about. People are excited about not only public investments, but private investments as well. Our success is not a fait accompli. It's not something that's going to happen just because we wish it to be so. We have to keep our shoulder to the grindstone and keep working really hard. And so the thread continues, weaving together a tapestry unlike any other. New Orleans has shown America how an entire community can come back from the brink. Stronger, healthier, smarter. One home, one neighborhood, one stitch at a time. In order for us to keep this alive, we have to keep our minds sharp, keep our hearts clear and open. Just continue doing the great job that we're doing.